Hi, everybody. What follows is my interview with Marianne Zucker of Empire Pens. This uh, discussion took place on the final day, September 30th, of this year's New York and New Jersey Pen Show. Uh, Marianne and her husband, Steve, are owners of Empire Pens, as well as the exclusive importers of Signum Pens from Italy, and uh, since 2001 have been the organizers of the New York and now New York, New Jersey Pen Show. So I hope you uh, enjoy meeting Mary Ann and spending a few minutes with her. So I'm happy to say I'm here with uh, Mary Ann Zucker, half of the dynamic duo of Mary Ann and Steve Zucker, who are uh, proprietors of Empire Pens and uh, importer of Signum. And the main reason we're here today, they are also the founders and organizers of the New York and now New York and New Jersey Pen Show. And uh, thanks for spending a few minutes with me, Marianne. You're very welcome. Um, I was wondering if you could begin by telling a little bit about the beginning of the New York Pen Show, which uh, started at a rather auspicious time back in 2001. Yes, it did. Uh, the former owners of the New Jersey Pen Show had decided to give it up, and I purchased it on eBay as a fluke. Oh, I didn't know that. And I wanted it in New York. I had begged the uh, earlier owners to move it to New York, but they thought that would be impossible. And so I took on the, the impossible task <laughs> of putting it on in New York, and we were all set for actually the Marriott in the Financial Center. Oh, okay. Good thing we didn't get it. Um, as it turned out, our show was scheduled only two weeks after the 9-11 disaster. All right, what timing? Boy. Yes, it was really bad. And uh, our sponsors wanted us to cancel the show, and I refused. I just felt that it wasn't the right time to walk away from anything right. that involved the city. And so we went ahead with it. And what was the turnout like? It was a huge, huge success. We had about a thousand people walking in and out Amazing. over the three days, and we had dealers and um, other supporters from around the world coming in just for us, just to show their support oh, to New York great. and to the U.S. Hmm. We had dealers that never came back, <laughs> but they came for that one show, which was you know, very special. And I imagine for some people it was a perfect opportunity to... Uh, take their minds off of the horror that we've well, all experienced. Yes, it, it just it freed you for a couple of hours each day from what was actually happening outside. The only people in the hotel that year were us, um, FEMA, wow. and uh, the Prime Minister of Canada. That oh, was that's it. amazing. So the hotel was happy because at least they had the two people working. There was revenue coming in from whatever it was, and uh, it was a little lift. It was a little lift to everybody. Now, did you stay in the same hotel in subsequent no, years? No, unfortunately, the hotel couldn't accommodate us the following year. So we moved from there to the Hemsley on 42nd between um, 3rd and 2nd, which was ideal, but we grew. Right. And we outgrew the location. The ballroom was too small. So we moved on to the um, Crown Plaza on 42nd Street, which was ideal. That was a, a great venue. And you stayed there through 2005, it was great, right? Yes. And then Steve had some health issues, I had some health issues, and we had to uh, take a year off. Right. And with that year, we decided that it was too expensive, and so we'd give it a shot in... New York, New Jersey. So you came to our side of the Hudson. Yes, we defected. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should say at this point that uh, we're just coming to the completion on Sunday of the first New York, New Jersey pen show. Uh, we just closed up uh, a few minutes ago, and I think it was a great success. How do you feel? I think so as well. 
I think uh, we've gotten a lot of very strong support from the dealers, the manufacturers, and the collectors. They came. They came from as far as Connecticut. They drove in. Uh, one poor man took the train, the bus, and whatever to get here from Brooklyn. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident that this will be a successful show. Terrific. For years to come. So you anticipate, uh, you think you'll come back to the same hotel next year? Or I, would like to, I would like to come back to the same hotel. I think that it's bad for the show to be moved constantly. Right. However, I have to, uh, we have to try to uh, come to some agreement with the hotel. They were understaffed, and it was a little difficult for us. We need, we need help. Right. The dealers need help getting their equipment in. Um, breakfast was very delayed because there wasn't enough staff, and all of that has to be fixed, I guess. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about uh, Empire Pens. Empire Pens is... Um, the home of Signum Pens. Signum is the, um, an Italian company uh, in Bassano de Graba, the same city as Monte Graba. Oh. Uh, but Signum was formed through Monte Graba. The uh, company itself, Essigy, made all the parts and fittings for Monte Graba over the years. I learned something new. And when, when Monte Graba was sold, Back in 79, they um, decided that they were going to try their hand at making their own pen signal. And they came out with a, a small line of pens. And over the years, they've been adding models and growing, growing very well. As I recall, you got a chance to visit the factory in Italy. Yes, we did. The factory is family-owned and operated. There, are three, there were three brothers. One has since retired and uh, their children. And each of the brothers had their own niche. Mm -hmm. And they were incredibly good at working together, pulling themselves together and getting out a fine product. I believe it is one of the finest pens made today. Oh, they're gorgeous models. They are very intricately formed. They're hand-worked. And there's a lot of pride in the ultimate product. Mm -hmm. And before it goes out to the market, it's tested, retested, and made sure that every piece is working together. We're only going to be able to, uh, to get so close here with this little uh, uh, handheld camera, but I was wondering if you could show us uh, some of the new Signum models. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, this is, these are prototypes of the New Solera. Okay. It comes in, it's coming in three colors. I don't even have the clips yet because they weren't ready. But it's coming in these three colors, black, yellow, and red. Wow, those are vibrant. And they're interchangeable. They're going to be delivered. You, The customer will buy a solid color pen, and they will have a certificate in the box for an additional barrel in any color that they want. Wow. And they can be switched, mixed and matched. Yeah, let's take a look at one of the nibs. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. Yeah, that's a gorgeous pen. It makes it very interesting. Oh, I see. It's mixing and matching. Yes. So are uh, these cartridge converter fills? or? They're both cartridge converter, 18 karat, um, either white gold or yellow gold, depending on the trim of the pen. Okay. And, um, Very and nice. They come, they're also going to be made in a mini model. Okay. Which is um, the Piccolo. This is the Grande, Solari Grande, and then there'll be Solari Piccolo. And how about the uh, Signum logo, logo? I see there on the end so of the pen. Every Signum pen has the Signum logo. And what is that? And represent? that is a chariot wheel. Okay. I'm going to link to your website from my website so people can get a closer look at these and see better photographs and a better look at the pen than I can show in this little video. Okay, that would be great. 
You have another uh, model you wanted to? We have our new limited edition, which is being very well received, and that is the Imperial Rome. Wow, well, that's a hefty pen. It's not any large, but it's it's pretty impressive. The uh, panels are solid sterling silver, and they they are the um, aqueducts. Oh, I see. And the Colosseum. Gorgeous. With the seal of Rome, imperial Rome, mm -hmm. and the chariot wheel. All of the ch uh, the clip is a uh, obelisk. Beautiful. The um, all of the trim on the pen is solid sterling silver. But it's still quite light, very comfortable. If the cap actually screws onto the barrel for posting. Nice. It's not recommended, but um, yeah, with, even without uh, posting the cap, well it's a it's a full size pen, but very light. Uh, I could write with this for hours. That's great. Well, and they write very, very well. I know the people uh, who visit my website, if they're not already familiar with Signum, will love to take a look at these. And you have many other models. Uh, yes, we do. To take a look at. We're up to about seven models. Wow, oh, that's terrific. Well, Marianne, I want to thank you very much for spending a couple minutes with us, and uh, also for hosting this terrific show. You really did a, you and Steve did a yeoman job as always. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.